Hello everybody, your local ranch father checking in once again with another mukbang video today on the menu. Pita Pit. A hidden valley in a shadow of ranch. Some people's kids, I tell ya. Some people's kids. So this is Pita Pit. Uh, I don't know if it's worldwide or international or anything like that, but it definitely is where I live. So. I'm eating it today. That's one thing to clarify. Uh, it uh, is pretty expensive. Not gonna lie. Mildly offended by it. But uh, hopefully great. I will say this. These napkins are <laughs> swaggy if I do say so myself. Very cool art design. So they are getting marks on the books for creativity, okay? E, excellent. Not N, not needs work, not S, not satisfactory, not G, not good. E, excellent. This is how we rate. Uh, their packaging is pretty cool. I do like it. I actually love this type of wrapping paper as well. It's very light, very mache, if you will. So I got two of these bad boys. I got one that's beef and one that's chicken. I'm not gonna lie. This whole time I was driving with these, I really wanted to do this. I wanted to keep them in the wrapper, but cut them and have them like cool guy style in the wrapper. And do like a, like a little inner exposure, if you will. My dumbass in the background? Hello, blurry. Do the thing where you work for me and don't cause me issues, please. That would be super fantastic. Okay, now that you've listened to my stupid ramblings for so long, before we do anything more, we must. Or, just got a fresh glass of ice, get that up in the, uh, Focus, and of course, fresh crack, Dr. D, we're back at it. Walmart provided once again, and I have a little story, talking point about that today, but in the meantime, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, it's not too bad, not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. It's still good, it's still good, it's just a little airborne, it's still good, it's still good. All right, so that was terrifying, very, very scary. But we're going to survive. What is wrong with me right now? I ask myself this often days, you know? Who's controlling this weird little brain up in here? Sometimes it doesn't feel like me. Okay. Oh, yeah. Nectar of the gods. So I actually want to go in with this beef brisket one first. It had the most intrigue to me. Uh, she's loaded up. Peppers, onions, lettuce, tomato, cucumber, cheese, banana peppers, all the things that you could imagine. Uh, and then ancho chipotle sauce, which I love, so. Mm, mushrooms. Mm -hmm. A nice smoky heat to that, to that sauce. Can't lie though, your guy brought old sweet old baby old Ray to the party and uh, I want to make that known on this next bite shout out sweet baby Ray's if you like sweet baby Ray's please do do shout it out in the comments below do support it let me know mm-hmm mm 
that made it better on that that brisket meat that baby raises singing How do we feel about Peter Pet? Do we on the other side of the screen like pita sandwiches? I feel like they were the uh, sort of like response to to Subway after Subway was like the wave for a while and then PETA showed up as the next healthy bread form to carry healthy things into your mouth. Doctor's hitting different today. You know what they say? One good thing calls for another. Fizz waiting guns. Fizz waiting guns. Uh, it's a real thing. Waiting for that fizz? Throw a couple guns in the air. Speaking of guns, oh, that's a lot, but whatever. We like it saucy around here. I shot some guns this weekend. Baby guns. But guns nonetheless. <sighs> My dad has this yearly tradition in the fall, kind of like a last weekend before it gets too snowy here. And uh, he has he basically throws an event called a squirrel hunt. Now they don't actually hunt squirrels. But it's just basically people who are friends or family uh, come out, you bring a gun, and he sets up a shooting range, like a target range. On uh, He takes like scaffolding and puts it up, and then he puts all these like dollar store type like ornaments, targets on it. And basically you get drunk. And uh, you can shoot well into the, de the dark of the night because he's got it all lit up with Christmas uh, bulbs. Which, the bulbs are also a target to be aimed at, hit and broken. Uh, and <clears throat> they're actually pretty hard to hit. This is the shawarma. A little different. Pretty much same uh, contents of, of like toppings or whatever. But hummus and tzatziki. The chicken definitely has that shawarma flavoring on there. That kind of like clove, all spicy type flavor. But yeah, I got drunk, shot some guns. 
had a big bonfire. Uh, I was terrible at shooting the guns, by the way. I blame the laser sight being off. But it could have been the 20 ounces of vodka, too. Might have been that. I don't know. Uh, also probably doesn't help that I'm basically Michael J. Fox these days, so... My aim was a little off. All in all, good times. Got into a rather hot political conversation at dinner. Which reminded me as to why talking about political things is a no-fly zone. <laughs> because there are always going to be conflicting, varied viewpoints. And... Uh, It just goes in circles. And some people's belief systems are like so skewed by media, you know, news, how authentic the news is. Just believing like spoon fed narratives. And then there's me who I don't believe any of that shit. I think much further beyond than what I'm told through a television. Television, tell lies to your vision. Um, I just go a little deeper down the rabbit hole and uh, you try to explain that to people who live like in the world view of things for whatever reason, maybe they, they don't care to want to think otherwise they've lived in the narrative for so long that they're used to getting this information and thinking it's credible or that somehow the system in place has their best interest at heart and shit like that, which I'm skeptical of all of that. So it's very difficult to try to impart at least your wisdom or, or a different larger viewpoint on, uh, on certain people around you. And it's like, it gets frustrating and I'm not saying that I'm right in my opinion either. I could be just as wrong. But I also can't see how they can't see kind of the, the charade or the facade of a lot of things that go on in this world. And it's hard to try to like bring people to, the, to your level of awareness. It's very... Very difficult. Even more so when they're like your elders. They're like, I've been living in this world twice as long as you. What do you know? You don't know shit. And it's like, you don't need to be a certain age to have a, a, a certain level of awareness, right? And to be fair, the older gener generation grew up 
in the structure, in the system, with less access to the amount of information that my generation does. So we can always seek out a lot of information and answers, alternative information and answers for ourselves. Are they right? I don't know. Are they factual? I don't know. Sometimes yes, sometimes speculation. Sometimes conspiratorial. But, you know, at least we, I feel like, and even the generation below me, like we're seeing through the fog, if you will. Now that said, there, there was people at the table that were like my same age that were fully with the old way of thinking and just like the fact that just believe what you're programmed to believe, what you're told. <laughs> and uh, that's even more frustrating to be honest, trying to get that, someone like that to switch over. But it all depends on like your level of discomfort with the world like if you have your nice decent job and you just have your life and everything in, in your life seems pretty cool for the most part like you're relatively unaffected by the world in a sense of course you're not going to like sit and almost disrupt your peace by trying to you know see through to all all of like the terrible shit that, that goes on you kind of want to shield yourself from, from any of that and just kind of keep going with the social narrative and not look too much deeper and just, you know, keep having your seemingly good life. I understand that. So you wear blinders, right? You're just like, yeah, fuck it. Like, it's not that serious for me. Like, I'm good. Like, I'm cool with where I'm at. But uh, unfortunately for me, my, my very nature is to be... Uh, I've been always questioning the world. I live in a state of like perpetual thought driven discomfort relative to my curiosities or my seeking truth and seeking understanding relative to just existence, period, but also the framework in which our society is, is, is operating from and, you know, who's pulling the strings. So I guess I just consider things quite a bit deeper than most. And it's hard to express that to people who don't want to understand <laughs> what you understand. Uh, these are these are two of these, by the way. Uh, obviously, you knew that, but, uh, like, they're pretty big, so that's got me pretty much full and crushed. Expensive, too. They were, together, they were, like, 28 bucks, So $14 for each of these, which I gotta say, it's not really worth it. They're good. But 14 bucks for a pita with this, like, three ounces of chicken and some vegetables it's like i don't know if that's uh acceptable <laughs> but uh definitely eyes were bigger than my stomach as per usual went off the rails a little bit on that one but hey that's where my mind goes it just whatever happens happens so there it is that's that for you uh till the next one you know what to do eat good live well and stay true